Good evening, everybody. Twice in one day, you lucky, lucky things. Clemmy has snucked in already. Snucked? Sneaked? Snuck? In? Already? Nick! <laughs> How are you doing this evening? Hope everything's all good. How was the rest of your day? Did you get up to much? In the four-ish hours? <laughs> it's been... Hey, hey, good evening, Rage. Welcome. Once again, thank you for being in. How are you doing? Beautiful evening, once again. It's not really. It's cold. Very cold. I've had my heater on and I've just not... Not warmed up at all. Lurking, since I'm practicing for this thing tomorrow. What's going on tomorrow? Oh, is this... Uh, is this... Is this to do with Apex? All good though, good to hear. Good, just being bored, dreaming about ice cream, clock watching. <laughs> Looking forward to this. Oh, well, I'm happy to be happy to be a fixture in the day. Uh, I am good. I didn't nap. I went and got lunch instead. <laughs> um, went and got lunch, and then just idled for the rest of the day. It is Josh and I in a duo tournament. Oh, okay. Uh, is Josh streaming it? I haven't got much to do tomorrow, so I might drop by and watch that. I've got a meeting in the evening, but that's uh, that's about it. So if it's being streamed, then I might drop by and lend moral support. Lunch can be an energy source, so why not? This is true, and it has given me energy. Had a beautiful burger. Very nice it was. Uh, let's not let's not dilly dally around for too long. Let's uh, let's get some. Oh, GOG wants to update. Do that later. It's too late now. Bandwidth is being dumb. He'll be streaming it, but it starts at 1am. Okay, then I might not be able to come and hang out. <laughs> I can't stay up that late. <laughs> I can't stay up that late. I could try. But I am doubtful. <laughs> Alright. Let's go. Let's, uh... Let's grab the music down low. That's it. You've got to remember to pause it rather than just straight up mute it. That's that's how you get it to fade out a bit more slowly. And then let's get the game up. Have a fun stream? Will do. Enjoy your grind. And best of luck tomorrow. Thank you for the luck. There's the loud game audio I remember. Flashbacks to New Year's Eve. <laughs> uh, last year. Uh. <laughs> we don't need to watch the cutscene. We saw it last time. Or the time before. Whichever. So. Yes. Last time we had a load of issues with snipers. That doesn't look like that will be the problem this time around, because we're in a tank. <laughs> Alright, just to catch us up on the story. Good job, pal. You're on a road to Brest that will take you through villages still held by enemy forces, so don't relax just yet. The King Tiger has tremendous firepower and more armour than any tank built to date, but it's a slow-moving target that's vulnerable to all kinds of attacks. The major threats you have to watch out for are Tiger 1s and Panzer 4 tanks, Panzer Shrek teams, and the 88mm field gun. The Tiger 1 is the precursor to the tank you're in now. It has less armour, but the same gun and the same engine. Your best chance of killing it lie in hitting it first. That'll disorient its crew and give your men time to reload while the enemy crew is recovering. Panzer Shrek teams will hide in buildings waiting for you to roll by before attacking. Blast the buildings quickly to be safe. Don't worry about civilians. By now, no one but the enemy will be occupying these shelled out villages. The field gun is a stationary emplacement you've seen before in the bow cage. Their crews rely on camouflage to stay out of your sight, waiting to fire at the right moment. Watch the road ahead very closely for these guns. Oh, I remember this game. This was the time I raided you after a child in my game killed. <laughs> Quite possibly it was, yes. So, we got ourselves a tank. We can go forward and back. Shoot with right click. 
c'est très loud. Need to try and do something about that. But even if I turn the master audio down, oh, well, that might help a little bit. Jay's here as well. Good evening, Jay. Welcome back. Still feels very loud. Hold space to align the base with the turret. That could be good information to know as well. How's your afternoon been, my friend? Now, we've got to keep an eye out on the buildings for guys with rocket launchers. And then we can just spray them with tank bullets to try and take care of that. I'm inclined to just destroy pretty much every building we come across. Oh, mounted the curb there. Apologies. I'm not the best driver, by the way. Even in cars, let alone in a tank. So this could be a dangerous mission. We're taking quite a bit of damage. They are hitting us pretty hard. The problem is that the tank doesn't really reload all that quick. So we've just got to try and hope for the best. Yeah, we've nearly lost all of our health already. Yeah, I know. Okay, well, as a practice mission... This one's not done too well. Does anyone on here have a way of repairing the tank while we're while we're moving? Shot the wrong building. What is go what is going on with this tank? Forwards. I'm pressing W to go forward. What is What have I done? I've beached the tank. <laughs> Okay. Who's shooting us from where? Okay, there was someone in there. Can we move on? Maybe? There we go. We're, we, we figured it out. We have sorted things. It did take us a moment, but we got there. I'm not sure if it's best to just try and run these guys over or to blast them with tank fire. I think this might be the end of our run on this level. So I'm not having a lot of luck in destroying that tank. He's trying his luck, but he's only got a little rifle. That ain't going to do too well for us. There goes all of them houses. That's beautiful. Fantastic. Such destruction. Uh-oh. This is the end. That was the end. <laughs> Decimated by other tanks. Okay, well, let's try this again. Gonna try and do the same but better. Maybe we need to try and destroy some of these buildings ahead of time. And try and preserve our armour a little better. It might also help if we could not get beached on random bits of rubble. I feel like it would also help if I had like a machine gun. On top of the tank as well. I know what you're thinking. Isn't a tank turret enough? Why do you want a machine gun as well? It's mostly to do with all of these random soldiers that are running around. Just to try and do some suppressing fire. Because they're going to be the ones that are going to end us. He took a tank round to the face. Blam, blam, blam. That's exactly what this mission's all about. Trying to pilot this tank through a ruined city. Destroying all the buildings to make sure we ourselves don't get destroyed. I feel like this might be what it's like to pilot a Dalek. Except a little bit less controlled. 
Oh nice, a vehicle level. As if we weren't put out by vehicle levels enough on Crash. Now we've got ourselves a tank level. On a game that has been kind of tricky to deal with at times. See the previous stream when we had masses upon masses of snipers. But we could, we could get there. Oh, okay, you got a half track for me, I see. Single tank round takes care of that. Oh, there's another guy right there. He needs to go. It feels a bit overkill. Blasting men in the back with tank rounds. <laughs> but it's the kind of wayward destruction warfare is known for. And the kind of recreated destruction in video games that we all know and love. How did the rest of how's the rest of your day gone, eh? Keeping busy? Working hard? Hopefully not too hard. Again, I saw that Emily was massively hyperactive. I don't know what you're feeding her. But she's getting beans from somewhere. Uh, this was where we ran. This was where we beached the tank last time. This time we've managed to get through a little bit more reliably. So it's these guys in beige that are the big problem because they've got rocket launchers which are going to be really detrimental to our well-being on this level. The guys with rifles I'm not too concerned about. It's the ones that have the rocket launchers that are going to be the big problem. And I know there's one round here. But we'd probably better just work on this tank here instead. This is not the kind of warfare tanks we're built for, but it's the kind of warfare we're going to work with. How many shots does this tank take to die? Can you please? He's out of here. That's what we need. Got everything done and cleaned the bathroom. That's very productive. More so than my, uh, my afternoon was, that's for sure. On oh, regular dog food, just a child. <laughs> She's still a puppy. She looks so big. Alright, that's all the buildings out. I see another tank on its way. Just take it nice and slowly. I need to get one more hit on it, I think. Okay, tank's gone. That guy with the rocket launch has come back to bite us. There we go. That's that taken care of. Don't need to worry anymore. Beautiful. You have a puppy? Should put a pic on tax disco. <laughs> I, d I don't know how to make one properly. Oh, there's another tank. Alright, things are difficult now. She's too, so not really a puppy, but she's still young. She is still young, yeah, that's true. She's just so, so hyper. <laughs> 11 bits from Morgan. Good evening, Morgan. How are you doing? Welcome to the stream, as per usual. Hope your day is going well. Better than my tank run is at the moment, at least. I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Maybe we should do that in a stream. Set up a Discord. Work out how that's done. Flatten him, flatten him, flatten him, flatten him, flatten him, flatten him, flatten him. He's... Yeah, there we go. We got him. Objective complete. Nice. Not that our objective was to flatten the soldier. That's just a side effect. All right, we're off. You could also follow Nay on dis on uh, on Instagram, Jay, and see see pictures of the of the dog on there. There's more than one way to skin a cat, as the saying goes. Probably not the best saying to use when talking about pets, but... Alright, there's another tank over there. 
I don't know if we need to destroy it, but maybe we should. Oh, it's run away. And the bridge is out, so we can't go that way. Typical. From who? Oh, maybe the giant 88mm cannon over there. More buildings to destroy. Give it all to me! Let me shell these buildings to within an inch of their lives. And then some. Whoa, there it goes. Big boom. Nobody survives. Oh, hello. Let's get the cannon out right away. <laughs> oh, I see it there. I don't want any trouble. Speaking of trouble, this looks like a perfect place for a tank duel. And sure enough. we just got to try and swerve the tank a bit. We're going to go back and forth. It's one of the most maneuverable tanks I've ever driven, by the way. Not that I've driven many. I think the only other tank I've ever driven in real life or a video game is the Mammoth Tank on Command & Conquer Renegade, which was one of the most miserable gaming experiences I have ever had. Oh, hello. Command & Conquer Renegade vehicle sections were some of the worst things I have ever experienced of any video game I have ever played. And it is all documented on my YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube.com slash Tech Productions. <laughs> Shameless self-plug. Is there such a thing as a shameful self-plug? I guess so. I guess that's promoting yourself in other people's chats without permission. Oh, you got you got two for me. This seems really unfair when I can barely reload. I know she can't. I'm working on it. Oh, one more shot. Come on, please get out of here. All right. Tanks are out. That's all that matters. Oh my gosh. The thing is, the tank feels suitably heavy as well. It feels like we are driving a tank, which is good. More buildings to tear apart. I'm more than happy to deal with that. So yeah, what do we reckon? I think making a... Like, we've, we've said it a couple of times before. Making a Discord is definitely the thing to do. However, whenever I've looked into it, it just I, I don't really understand it. So, maybe we need to stream making one. So that everyone can help. Because <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, another tank. I see you. We aren't doing too well on the old health department here, which is kind of unfortunate. Okay, maybe we can just snipe around the corner. We can destroy the tank by shooting its treads. Nice. There we go. Cheesed it a little bit, but sometimes a little bit of cheese is okay. 88mm cannon over there. But this is pretty much the end of this level for us. We don't stand to survive too many more hits. Who did that? Big boom. We're dead. <laughs> Start over. Start over. Okay, let's do the same but better. Bring, bring, bring. Morgan is hosting the stream. Thank you very much for the host, my friends.
Okay, this time we won't even worry about going that way. Let's not even worry. That was the start of a lot of our problems. 88mm gun goes first, then the buildings go after that. Oh, I see a guy with a machine gun in the window there. There we go. He's gone. Morgan has contributed some channel points to the marathon challenge. Thank you very much. We're going to be there in no time. Making quite good headway on that. We're, uh, we're what, 10%-ish of the way there now? Something like that? Going good. The problem right now is that I haven't got any other sort of channel point redemptions right now. I need to think of some other ones to, uh, to implement. Back it up because of the tank. Oh, he got us with a good shot there as well. And Sean's dropped a load of points in as well. Thank you very much. All very keen for the 12 hour, huh? <laughs> It'll be good. We'll do it at a more reasonable time as well so that I can actually manage 12 hours. Rather than tapping out at 10. I think I hit the tank. So... I have 24,000? My goodness me. You pretty much pay for the stream by yourself. <laughs> we can't go this way. We're going this way. This is the only way we can go. What's poppin' chat? Kingslayer Matt, how are you doing there, my friends? Welcome to the stream. I uh, hope you're doing alright this fabulous evening. We appear to have gotten ourselves into a spot of bother with these tanks. <laughs> this is not how tank warfare is supposed to go. <laughs> but there goes all of the health we've saved so far. I would if I was allowed. Yeah, you can only contribute a certain amount per stream. Point blank tank. Point Blank was a great PlayStation 1 game. If no one's ever played Point Blank, I would thoroughly recommend it. It's a bit difficult to do a stream of because it's only uh, it's a light gun game, so it's tough to do. Kingslayer Matt, is this Medal of Honor? It is. This is Medal of Honor Allied Assault, um, which is one of my favourite Medal of Honor games. I think it's one of the best, personally. Um, we're just trying to fumble our way through with varying degrees of success. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Thank you for your for joining in, joining the tack pack. Welcome aboard. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're struggling to work out how to pilot a tank at the moment, which I think is acceptable. <laughs> They're not the easiest bit of kit to negotiate. What's the Scythers for? Coming in and sighing. We ain't making no bad jokes. Not today. Oh, yeah. We, we, we took the tank out around the corner here, didn't we? Oh, this one's smart. However, we are very nearly dead. I shot the building. The guy's supposed to die with the building. There we are. He's out. Do you remember the PS3 version of the game? Uh, not of Allied Assault. No. Um, having said that, I don't know many other of the Medal of Honor games. I've got Pacific Assault on Origin and have played a little bit of it and I really did not enjoy it at all. Whereas this one I played when I was younger uh, on PC, like we are at the moment. And thoroughly enjoyed it then and still enjoying it now. This guy's got a rocket launcher and he must die for that crime. Good, he's out. But now what other kind of torment have I put myself among? There was a lot of great army games back in the day. I remember my friend Andrew showed me a MMO, I think it was, called America's Army. I don't know if that's still a game that's go that exists. Uh, I, I assume it must do. But 
it was like a multi online multiplayer video game first person shooter before that became the genre staple uh, I, I never played a little bit of it it was quite good it was quite good but I didn't really manage to invest too much time and effort into it Andy on the other hand he had so much time he was really good at it he knew all of the maps inside out he was really high levels on it all oh you can destroy buildings by running into them as well I mean, we are in a tank, so that does feel like a very obvious sentence, but also, I don't think that was explained to me. I'm going to save, because we made it to this point and died last time, and I don't want to replay it all again. So we're going to save. <laughs> can be stressful sometimes, but it's still a good game. It is super stressful. I'm grateful that we have at least made it past the previous level, which was full of snipers and caused me so much stress and hatred towards this game. Because you just couldn't see any of the snipers, which I completely understand is the point of a sniper. But it was not a fun level. How it made it through playtesting? No idea. This, on the other hand, has been a lot more acceptable. And we're actually making, we're actually making progress as well. On to the next part. Uh, so far, so good, Lieutenant. The Germans at the bridge have certainly been informed of the stolen King Tiger. So you won't be able to drive the tank... Excuse me. To the bridge right away. <clears throat> this photo from our resistance agent shows the bridge wired to blow at a moment's notice from a small detonator on the opposite side. As the team's lone sniper, you'll have to move in quietly, find a good position overlooking the bridge, and keep the enemy from using that detonator until the tank can move into position. If you're spotted during your approach, you'll have to chase down and kill any of the sentries before they can run off and blow the bridge. Once the King Tiger reaches the bridge, the Germans will undoubtedly call in reinforcements. The King Tiger is tough, but it can't stop all of them. Use your radio to call artillery strikes on incoming tanks, and remember that it takes a few seconds for the shells to arrive. Hold off the German counter-attack until friendly forces arrive to secure the area. If we can win, win this battle, the German presence in France will be all but finished by mid-September. You've got your work cut out for you, pal. Good hunting. What's been going on out of the corner of my eye? Beyond a joke? Nice and easy. People always redeem the Beyond a Joke channel points when we've got new followers, and I'm, like, I'm really worried that this will just make our new followers leave. Because they're so awful. So. Let's go for... Hmm. This is so bad. Okay. Why is it impossible to play a trick on a snake? Because you can't pull its leg. Honestly awful. I I hate I hate these. I hate these. I don't know why I, I I mean, I can't go out and buy a new joke book now. I'm throwing the book away. The book is staying over there. I'm, be I'm better off just coming up with my own jokes and listening to that. Clem's flopped into bed. Good idea. Good idea. It's... I'm feeling very tired myself. I like this old reminds me of Frontline. Never played Frontline. However, if it's... Uh, if it is similar to this, then uh, I'd be down for it, for sure. Can you have the book? Uh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Do me a favor, like oh 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 right, yep, forgot Warzone. We need to be on our toes at all times because it's very likely we're gonna get shot. Um nope. How are these missing? I think it's time for the machine gun. We're being overwhelmed here. Okay. Perfect. By the way, if we're looking for good first-person shooter play, this is not the place for it, by the way. Just, just so everyone knows. We are not good at these kinds of games, and it shows. So I hope you're just coming here for the, for the witty chat and fun banter, rather than the brilliant gameplay, because that's not how we do things. Let me out, let me out! 
you know what? Just end me. Let's start this one again. We got off on the wrong foot here. Just tear me apart. Tear me apart. I think I just had two grenades fall on my body as well, so... Fantastic. <laughs> Parents are going to hate me. Yeah, they're not good jokes, so they might very well cause a great deal of distress. <laughs> Alright, this time we're going to try and do the same but better. So I know there's that man over there. Pop him in the head. That way we haven't got to worry this time. And then there's the other one just around the corner here. Or not. Where did he go? Oh, there, there you are. Oh, hello. <laughs> right. Straight from behind. I'm not used to that. <laughs> okay. that's a, This is a bit of a better position. We're doing... Well, I thought we were doing better. Thank you. I see you. You're going to keep coming? Oh, all of them have got grenades this time. I don't appreciate that. Sit yourselves down. Oh, I think a grenade just exploded in my pocket. Oh my gosh, where are they coming? They're coming from up there. We need to go and find the source of these grenades. Just gonna point fingers. <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. Ah, uh, classic. Every single time. Where did you come from? Where did you go? Okay. Taking him out in the back. Put one through his skull. Good job he was wearing a helmet. Safety first. Everyone's here for the dulcet tones. The soothing dulcet tones of my voice. Just allow them to lull you to sleep. Ignore the, ignore the gunfire. And just focus... On the smooth sounds of my voice. <laughs> Alright, you got any more for me? Oh yeah, okay, I see him over there. Right in the throat. This thing is still in my eye. Is it a bit of cotton, Joe? Jay? <laughs> oh, you got to make light of it. There is that fantastic joke um, set up like a anecdote or something like that. It's about a... Uh, oh, I can't even remember it now, but it's, it's to do with Cotton Eye Joe and it's such a good joke. I think that's where the grenades were coming from. Unless they were coming from up there. I mean... If it's me, and I've got something in my eye, I either have to try and rub it out of my eye, which I know is bad for you, or I just have to go, well, this is how I'm going to live now. <laughs> Who did it? Oh, hello. Yeah, I just have to accept that my new life is to have some things trapped in my eye, because I do not understand how you're supposed to wash your eye with saline. Like, how do, how do people keep their eyes open underwater? It can't be done. Where are these grenades coming? Oh, oh, right. There was, that's where the grenades are coming from. That's that problem solved. But yeah, I do not understand how it's possible. So, I would just accept my new fate as having a squint because there's something in my eye forever. Sean feels pain. I had something in my eye for about two days a few months ago. Ugh. Maybe, maybe I'll just make the like. These aren't real. I don't. These aren't real glasses. I don't need glasses for to see with. I just use these for light reflection to stop headaches and all that sort of stuff. Where I spend so much time sat in front of my computer, it helps to at least try and maintain a degree of ocular health. But maybe now I'll just have to walk around with. I'll just have to wear these glasses forever so that I never get anything in my eyes ever. <laughs> I don't think that's technically how it works, but... 
Honestly, once something gets in your eye, it's such a pain to remove. Like I say, I'll, I'll just I'll just accept my fate. I'll wear an eye patch if I need to. Lemmy used to keep her eyes open underwater when she was younger. I think like my I think my sister can do it. And I think younger people can do it in general. But I I can't sit down. I can't. I've never been able to. And I guess it's something you can learn. Like, you just kind of need to get over the hill of doing it. But it's not something I have any real interest in. That's what I've always said, that I would make a rubbish action game protagonist. Like, I'd be a rubbish Lara Croft and or something like that. Because those characters, whenever they go swimming, all of them can keep their eyes open underwater. I can't. I can't. Look for a plunger. We believe the enemy has the bridge wired for detonation. You've got to stop them from pressing the plunger at all costs. Look for a plunger. Okay, sir. We're moving the tank up to the bridge. Wait, are we? I wasn't ready yet. Don't let him get to that plunger. Where is the plunger? We must keep that bridge intact. Okay. I mean, my, my objective is up here, so I'm going to stay up here. Oh. Perfect. Oh, the bridge was destroyed. Okay, I ran into the wrong building and the mission ended. Okay. So, am I supposed to be at the top of the other building then? Have I have I messed this up by coming to this building? I think I've messed this up. Okay, so we've just got to stay at the top of the other building. Blinking rapidly might help if there's an object like dust in it. That's 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 a fair point. Okay, so I've just got to stay here and like snipe soldiers out. I don't know where the plunger is. I probably should have reloaded my sniper rifle beforehand. Is this the plunger right here? That's the plunger. So we've just got to keep that from being bombed. I can call in artillery strikes on the heavy loads. Don't press it! Don't press it! Don't press it! That's what I thought. Okay, the artillery strikes not come for the 88mm yet, but I can see a tank rolling in. Why do they keep coming? All right, there goes the plunger. That's good. The 88 millimeters down as well. Okay. I will do that. There you go. Attack the tank, artillery. And then I've got another tank over there. We've got the King Tiger's health at the top. It's currently at 87. Perfect. I know you're here. I'm waiting for the artillery to come through. Who's doing it now? You didn't tell me I was going to have company. Okay. I see another tank. Let's get it. Do remember your eyes being really red after swimming miles over. Yeah, humans aren't supposed to. I don't think they've got the biology to be able to do that properly. Unlike fish, for instance. But it's something that can be done. Okay. Acquire a tank with the... So, acquire a target with the binoculars to destroy a tank. Then shoot down the soldiers. But do a better job than that. I can see you're getting hit pretty hard. I can't do much of about it at the moment because I'm getting hit pretty hard myself. Okay, he's he's running scared. I know, just keep keep trying your best, okay? Uh oh. Yeah, we're not holding up too well either, you know, I'm not complaining. Objective complete. Did we do it? We did it. We're done. So I'm part fish? Possibly. Oh we're not done yet, we're not done yet. Don't you dare kill me. 
I'm so near to this. What do you mean Alpha Zulu waiting for a response? I told you the tank! Go and get it! Objective complete. Okay, we're there. We did it. Whew. That felt a lot more frantic than it needed to be. Oh, we're on. A new chapter. After November, one of your fellow operators, Lieutenant James Patterson, destroyed a secret mustard gas production facility along the Siegfried Line at a place called Fort Schmerzen. Unfortunately, new intelligence suggests that Schmerzen's commander, one Colonel Muller, has somehow restored the fort back to full operation. The USS has received reports of trains headed towards the fort hauling prisoners of war out of the Hurkin Forest. It's possible Schmerzen is simply a stopover point for POWs being moved east, but my gut feeling is Muller has something more nefarious going on. Does sound nefarious. Your orders are to permanently wipe this facility off the map. Ice cream is strangely good. Salty, sweet, soft and crunchy. What flavour is it today? They'll be bringing along enough high explosive to reduce Schmerz into rubble once and for all. We're sending you in first, Lieutenant, to cut the lines of communication between Schmerz and the rest of the world. After that, you'll need to intercept and commandeer the POW train that's headed to the fort. It'll serve as the Trojan Netflix and chilled. Ah, Ben and Joe's flavour. Into the Schmerz and compound. That is like From salted there, caramel, isn't it? If I remember rightly. Level, Netflix and chilled. Charges and get out as fast as you can. Needless to say, make sure that any POWs you encounter are clear of the blast. Cookie dough is my favourite. Ben and Jerry's. Good luck. Or like a strawberry cheesecake flavour. Ice cream is also very good. All right, here we are. The Siegfried Forest. Uh, I think that's just next next door to the Roy Woods. You might have to correct me on that, though. Uh, all right. The Army Air Force has reported losing several reconnaissance planes 20 miles north of Fort Schmerzen in a place where they've seen nothing of importance. Just a lot of forest and snow for miles in all directions. We want you to go in early and see what's going on in there before you go to the rallying point for the Schmerzen raid. It's rather odd that the Germans would position valuable anti-war weapons in the middle of nowhere, don't you think? You'll be tree-jumping this time. Parachuting into a forest is risky, but it's the fastest insertion method. Once you're on the ground, be on the lookout for enemy snipers. You've got the Springfield sniper rifle for this operation. Our planes are probably being shot down by anti-air guns hiding among the trees. We're guessing they're 20mm flax. Find and destroy any anti-air guns, and be on the lookout for anything out of the ordinary. We'll play this one by ear if something does come up. Good luck out there, pal. Great, so we're not actually done with the snipers. Anyone who missed out on all the sniper stress from the previous stream... Be ready. Peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and brownie pieces. Oh, I see. Little bit more than salted caramel, then. Okay, I can hear woods, ho uh, woods howling. Pfft. Wolves howling. Guess we'd better go careful. We'll follow the objective arrow. Keep an eye out for any enemies. We're gonna lean in close. No posture check redemptions, please. <laughs> Feel like if we stay close to the map border then we should be safe, right? So I keep your back to the wall, then you've only got three directions to look in. That's the smart play. Tastes strange, but it's good at the same time. I do know what you mean. Had a few experiences in my life. Like that. <laughs> Okay, making good progress. I think. Ben and Joe's is the only ice cream I eat. It's the only ice cream worth eating. Changed my mind. Oh, Jesus! Christ almighty! Who's doing it? I can't see them! 
Oh, he was right on top of the building. Okay. Ah, oh, sniper missions infuriate me. We were mostly safe up until that point. So we know... Or he says, I just heard a guy shout. You weren't there last time, wherever you are. He wasn't there like he didn't shoot me last time, that's for sure. Haha. -ha. Taking the fight to you this time. Hip squeak. Okay. Gonna drop a quick save down here. Sniper levels suck. And I'm not replaying this endlessly. Not good according to... And it's super expensive. Eight or nine dollars. It is... Ben & Jerry's is expensive. It's about five pound here. Um, I'm not quite sure what the conversion rates are for currency. But... Yeah, Ben & Jerry's is expensive. But it does taste very, very good. <laughs> oh, there's another platform-looking thing up here. Is there going to be a soldier on it? Probably. Am I going to see him? Nope. Is he going to one-shot me? Almost definitely. Prefer using dollars since... Uh, what is, what's it? Is it... I want to say Krona. Swedish Krona? I'm not 100% sure. It is correct. Yes. Yeah, I do know bits and pieces. <laughs> oh, there's a... That's something we need to destroy. You can bet there's going to be guards. I did hear them. He's just going to completely pick me off easily. I don't know what kind of machine gun rifles they have. But I wish I had one. I'm just going to go with a regular machine gun, probably. <laughs> just spray and pray. A dollar is around ten krona. Gotcha. That's it. Spray and pray. Spray and pray. Just smile and wave, boy. Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> we may need to restart this mission because I just simply do not have enough health to succeed. However, disregard, I think we're fine. When I talk about money, I talk about $14 instead of 104 Yeah, I can understand the sense in that, actually. That would... I can understand that that might confuse. I would probably get confused. I can hear more shooting going on. We do have more health, fortunately, so not all bad. But... Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. I see you running. He's down. There's more coming. There's another cannon up ahead as well that we need to deal with. Okay. Graceful? No. Done? Yes. That's what's important. Unless you know exactly what Corona is, then it's going to be confusing. Yeah, I think sticking with dollars is probably best. I have no idea what any kind of conversion rate is. From any sort of currency, so... I always just refer to pounds and... Hope that... Hope that everything gets kind of... <laughs> converted out. Okay, our health is really, really quite bad. I just need to hope that 
there's some health behind these sandbags. There was no cannon here. There is also no health here. Which is deeply concerning. Honestly, one shot and we're dead. Oh, I see the next one. Okay, those guys are down. The question is, are there any more? I'm going to put a save down. Because if there are more, then we'll be ready for them. If there aren't more, then we're all good. Okay, it looks safe. Still no health, though. Which... I'm not a big fan of that at all. Euros and dollars are similar. In those cases, we usually just add a zero. Okay. I think that the pound and the euro were relatively um, consistent as well. At one stage. Whether or not that's still the case, I have no idea. I can't imagine it is. Do you know what? I saw him walking around behind the trees and I just didn't react fast enough. Yeah, they were fairly even at one point, but I think given the all the mess and weirdness that the UK has been through at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if the the British pound has now taken a really bizarre turn. I know you. So five pound would be fifty-ish krona. We could. Can we look it up? Maybe. Uh, I don't think I can tab out of. The game, though, that's the problem. Let's. Oh, oh, yeah, I can't tap out of the game. Let's, 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 let's nail this shot. Let's see what. Let's see what we got here. We'll get up. We'll get up the exchange exchange rates because you know we're not afraid to look up the important stuff here on the channel. So one pound is equivalent to one point one euros. Uh, where are you, Swedish krona? Uh, a pound is equivalent to eleven. 11 krona, essentially. 11.1. So, a fiver would be 55. Nearing to 56 krona. So, a tub of Ben and Jerry's here would cost you 56-ish krona, more or less. <laughs> we debate the real issues here. Oh, give me some game back. I had to close the game and I've got to reopen it again. It costs 85 to 95. Oh, right. Sweden is expensive, though. I have heard that and been told that many times because I, I would love to go to Sweden. And normally when I tell people that, they go, oh, Sweden? It's expensive there. And I'm like, you know what? Sweden may be expensive, but it's somewhere I want to go. And I'll happily pay that little bit extra to see. Isn't it fuel? Isn't it like gas for your car that's super expensive? Everything else is just a kind of... Like, like you say, it depends. I can hear him, I can hear him, I can hear him. I can hear him! There he is, there he is! Ah, oh, he pointed his gun round the tree. It's meant to be a beautiful country. I have absolutely zero doubt of that. I believe it is. But I, I'm one for... Like, like this kind of environment here. Wintry, pine forests, all that kind of stuff. You give me a nice rural part of a country with a wintry climate. And I am happy as anything. It's exactly what I want. That's why I went to Canada. That's exactly what it turned out to be like. Oh, here they are. There's a lot of them, though. I feel like Han Solo. I gathered a load of... I gathered some health. <laughs> I felt like Han Solo when he ran into, into all of the stormtroopers. <laughs> They're raising the price of gas every year. <sighs> no fun. 
Having said that, no problem for me. I, I, I like walking everywhere, so... It's fine by me. Sounds cold. It was... Do you know what, right? So where I was in Canada, around August, it was hotter than it was here. And I was way up in the mountains. And it was an absolute joy to be there. Like, for, for Canada Day, which I believe is in August, it was so warm. Unexpectedly warm. And then it rolled around to, like, October, November, and it was just snowing every single day. I think it got down to about minus 20-ish at one point, which is the coldest temperature I've ever experienced. Probably rookie numbers for some people. I imagine a Swedish winter is bitterly cold, Clemmy. <laughs> but minus 20 is certainly the coldest temperature I've ever experienced. I feel like I've gone back to the start. Somehow. Kingslayer's back! Held up with something? That's not a problem. Welcome back. We're not enjoying much success, to be honest. I've lost most of my health. I'm about one stubbed toe or particularly violent sneeze away from death. It's not going well for us. <laughs> Finland would be better then. Sweden is more of a summer country. Oh, okay. Um, excuse me. Minecraft wants their tree back. <laughs> um, this tree is missing its trunk. <laughs> Thing is, here in Sweden, sometimes communal things like train and bus is faster than car. They have a bus going. Public transport's really good. That's, oh, I mean, better than the UK's. It's gotta be. The UK's public transport is dire. Our public transport gets cancelled if there are too many leaves on the ground. No joke. The train services have been stopped because there are too many leaves on the track. On occasion. It's obscene. Like, what, what kind of public transit system can't deal with leaves? Hey, we found the next cannon, randomly, by accident. That's that's very fortuitous. And some health as well. Much needed health. Thank you so very much. Pot out here in December. Oh, where are you, Kingslayer? I want some more health as well. This is the perfect time for a save. I'd say the same about England, but everything just goes wrong. Absolutely. Public transit should run regularly, but it very rarely does. We currently don't have a, even have a car. Oh, well then public transport's fine, and it's great to uh, have a reliable one that works. Botswana. Oh, well, welcome. I believe you're my first viewer from, uh, from Botswana, so welcome. Fantastic to have you. Having a having a warm December. Like that's the thing that always strikes me as odd because that's what it is for the for the southern hemisphere. Like I've got uh viewers in Australia and things like that, and they've said how they've had a blisteringly hot Christmas. I'm like no 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 no, that doesn't make any sense. Christmas is cold. And it always blew my mind that there was hot Christmases in the southern hemisphere. For me, I always assumed that the occasion was tied to the weather. So, Christmas would happen, like, Australians would have Christmas in July. To me, in my brain, that made more sense than having the hemispheres... Kind of, having, the seas having the occasion at the same time, but just with different weathers. It's, it's so strange. I, I had an odd brain as a child. I still don't think it's entirely sorted itself out now, to be honest, but that's okay. It's around zero right now. It's it's pretty much zero right now here in here in the UK also. Let's look. Minus one! It's colder here than it is in Sweden. <laughs> what an achievement. Yeah, Sean says it's minus one. No disrespect, but I'm horrible at geography. Where is Botswana? Is, Botswana is uh Oh, I, I know I know it's in Africa. Uh 
Southern Africa. That's it. I couldn't remember if it was like mid, like mid Africa or South Africa. Winter starts around June and ends. Winter starts in June and ends around August. I'll, in the UK, our winter start like I think it starts probably in. I think it starts around October, and lasts all the way through until the following May. I think it's probably probably the way to sum up a British winter hydration break. Good idea. Cranberry juice, as always. Onwards and forwards. That's good. Finally out of that part. Now we've got to destroy another flat cannon. Presumably also keeping an eye out for snipers. The ever-present threat. Oh, who did it? Right on time. Whoever did it, he can't see me now, though. Ah, uh, there you are. I think I just shot through his dress. Oh, he ducked. He's a professional, that man. He's an absolute professional. Good on him. I can applaud talent when I see it. Even if it does happen to be shooting me in the face. Winter starts in December and ends in February. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's the that's the winter that I would that's what I would call a winter season. My brain it, it's still every now and then. Oh, hello. Oh, and and another one here. Okay. My brain still can't fully wrap its head around like warm winters. Okay, this is this is what I want. I I like the I like um I like the narrow corridors in these games. These these are where these are the bread and butter of these kinds of games. This is much more fun than standing in the middle of some woods trying desperately not to have your face blown apart by renegade snipers. Any health in here? There is no health in here, so we're just going to have to go in with the grenade and hope for the best. Nice. Sorted. We have three month seasons. We should have three month seasons, but the weather's far too unpredictable here in England to actually actually commit to seasons. <laughs> Take all of those. Oh, we've got to go up. Alright, I'm ready for it. What's everyone's favourite season? Ooh, good question. Sean says spring. Mine's got to be autumn. Or fall, for our US friends. The one day of the year that is spring in the UK. Yeah! <laughs> mine, mine is definitely autumn. You know, it's kind of... It's just that perfect moment. Like, once summer's out of the way, and the weather just starts to go a little bit cooler, you know, it, the, the it become, outside becomes a little bit more comfortable... All the leaves are brown, and the sky is grey. You know how it goes. <laughs> That's def definitely my my top season, Autumn. Who's shooting? It's you, my friend. Sit down, shut up, thanks for playing. Alright. Just right. Yeah, exactly, it's the Goldilocks season. Because the thing, the thing about spring is spring is also a good middle season. It's the tra it's a transitional season, in the same way that autumn is. But the advantage autumn has is that it's less of a problem for people with hay fever and pollen allergies and things like that. Of which I'm not a massive sufferer, but I see the misery that it causes a lot of people. So. I I'm doing I'm doing this for the people out there who suffer from hay fever. Autumn is the best season here in the UK. Winter, December through February, spring, March through May, summer, June through August, and then autumn, September, November. See, ours are similar, or they should ours should be similar. That's that's kind of like the boundaries they're always referred to in school. But the the British weather very very rarely actually 
allows such a rigid season structure to take place. <laughs> Kingslayer, it's winter. I do like winter's second favorite. Winter is second favorite. The hot and warm months, I don't don't do anything for me. All right then. Okay. Well, I guess I'll shut up then. <laughs> Sean is badly affected by hay fever, last year especially. A lot of people last year really bit it for hay fever. They had a real hard time with it. I always feel kind of guilty, because I, I, do, I don't tend to suffer with it. Uh, I'm going to reload, because we knew we knew that guy existed, and I don't want to take that much damage right off the, right off the bat. So, I... Yeah, I always feel bad because everyone around me seems to suffer really, really badly with it. And I'm like, I can't do anything to rectify this. You've just got to suck it up and sneeze. <laughs> I'm sorry to say. Definitely, definitively prefer winter. Autumn in Sweden is beautiful but miserable. Is that the weather thing? Is that to do with the weather though? Don't normally so I just I just remembered. I hate spring. <laughs> and now we know that these guys are here, we can take a bit less damage going into the fort. Well, the, the fortification, it's not really a fort at the moment. We shall see. This reminds me of Frontline. I, I have never played Frontline. Maybe 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 we should though at some point. If it's very if it's similar to this game, maybe we should. One day. Maybe not right away. We'll make it the next uh We'll make it the next uh, the next playthrough, perhaps. To me, Huck! Good to see people playing all Allied Assault. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely love this game. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you. How are you doing today? Hope everything's alright. Hope 2021's gotten off to an okay start for you as well. But yeah, Allied Assault is... I've not played many of the Medal of Honor games, but this one is my favourite. Very much enjoy it. It's kind of like a game from my childhood almost. Definitely deserves a lot more love than it gets, I think. Autumn is basically rain, cold, mud, and storms. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly that's exact that's exactly the same as a British winter, and autumn, and spring, and summer, really. <laughs> oh, hello! I see you. Don't try. Oh, and another, and another. Okay, okay. Right. Do as I say, not as I do. Don't take on soldiers in that manner. That's not the way forward. <laughs> That's not the way it works. A lot of matches are still played, are they? I thought that uh, I thought that the Medal of Honor multiplayer kind of. I thought that dis I thought that was part of the Game Spy server, so I thought they went down with Game Spy. But um, oh, if that's the case, maybe maybe we can do some multiplayer. Huh? One day? P potentially? Possibly? Maybe? <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. What's the worst pain you've ever felt? Ooh. it's an interesting question. We've had a lot of great questions on today's streams. We had CS earlier coming in with all of those introspective questions. Those were... Those were some really good thought-provoking ones. And I've got Kingslayer coming in as well. Uh, let me think on that. Oh, I'll come back to you with an answer on that. Uh, nay, I do like a storm, though. I love a good storm. Oh, love a good storm. Winter is usually crispy, cold, snowy, and sunny. Oh, we, um, we get crispy, cold, and rain. Who's shooting? I can't see you! <laughs> Damn snipers. Over 400 clan base demos on my YouTube, if you remember that. Clan base? No, I do not remember, I'm afraid. <laughs> I don't know what clan base is. I had a rather sheltered childhood. <laughs> Okay, well, if there was... Uh, this is the way we need to go, though. Dang it. Me and they will be off in a few minutes to play some D&D, &D, but we'll still be lurking. That's not a problem. 
good luck on your D&D &D quest. Make sure you win, or at least survive. Oh, are you up here somewhere? Where is he? I don't know where it is. Clan base was a big competitive league for gaming. I see. I see. Is there anything like that exists nowadays? Like a big kind of gathering for all sorts of online multiplayer gamers. Like not individual game lobbies, but just like a giant, I guess like a giant lobby where people can then sort of, I don't know, I guess kind of post requests for like games they want to play against people. Oh, okay, we've hit, we've hit the backdrop. We're not going in the right direction anymore. That's unfortunate. Uh, oh my, a big, uh, big old wall of chat. I can't read because I can't tab out. Oh no. Um. Oh no. Okay, well, uh, let's let's do this because I can't tab out because this is a very old game. Got to quit the game to carry on reading chat and then we can load it back up again and start again. Uh, Kingslayer, for me, it was getting bit by seven snakes. Let's hit them with venomous. Good grief. Oh well. Good job on making it through that. That's, un that's outrageous. <laughs> I don't think my pain's anything like that. For Clemmy, someone's having eating issues and hadn't eaten in three days. Ugh. Oof. It's the worst pain I remember. Possibly maybe the time I broke the bone in my foot that connects the soul to your little toe. Ooh. That's a long one as well. Yeesh. Damn. Not so much. I think the majority counter to uh, the majority cater to uh, CS:GO. That's fair enough. Yeah, I think CS:GO has definitely kind of just taken the place of all sorts of pretty much every online multiplayer shooter now. You work with them? My God! So, so what is it you do then? If uh, if you don't mind my asking, other other than work with snakes, like what's the job title that involves that? They honestly can't think of an awful pain I've experienced. For me. Um, I guess it kind of comes down to two. Um, okay, the game's loading back up now. When I first started antidepressants, my body ached for weeks. That was awful. Bad stomach cramps as well. I know the feeling there. Have fun and good luck. I have to play Cup War now. Enjoy it. I certainly will. Tom, thank you very much for uh, dropping by on the stream. Very nice to have you here. And we'll, we'll be carrying on with this as well, actually. This has got the... Uh, it's got the expansion packs as well, so we shall be carrying onwards as well. You have followed. So you have. There it is. Thank you very much for the follow, my friend. We will hope to see you again here very, very soon. Good luck this evening. I hope you win. <laughs> King's that. Oh, literally a snake handler. Oh, that's an occupational hazard. <laughs> that doesn't make it okay, but it is what you sign up for being a snake handler. Worst I can think of is the time I was bit on the stomach by a dog after after surgery. Oh, after surgery as well. That is bad. That is very, very bad. Very tired. Yeah. Very oh, yes, right. We made it to here with the, the MG42. I remember. Oh, my God. There's loads of them. Sit them down. Oh, there's one more. There's one more. There's one more. There we go. He's out. Found a snake in our house when we bought it. Yes! So there's actually UK press coverage <laughs> of the time that they found a snake in their house. Shut the door. Phoned the, phoned the animal charities. Get them to come out and deal with it. Because snakes are such a rarity here in the UK, no one knows how to deal with them. So we just go, call call someone, get someone else to come out and do it. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing when it comes to snakes. Shani's terrified of snakes. I don't know how I feel about snakes. I've never encountered one, I don't think. 
they they don't like they don't strike me as an animal that would fill me with fear but i've never encountered one so i can't really say too accurately there is still find it hilarious <laughs> yeah definitely do should put it right above where it was found as like a monument left a huge live animal bag behind as well so we have we have one look just in case it another one appears um good call glad you didn't end it that's exactly it i think you it's definitely it's definitely got to cause some panic hasn't it but there's no there's no need to just stamp the snake out or do whatever to it certainly not uh, my worst pain, it would either come from when I, I, I broke my left arm playing on a building site because I was a sensible child. We were having an extension built on the back of the house and the foundations had been laid. It had been raining. I slipped off a wooden beam and fell down and kind of landed. Like I put my hand out to stop me and fell kind of beyond, like lower than where my hand was. So it kind of pushed up and I... um. I uh, I got a I fractured my wrist just along here, so so you can see just along here, <laughs> and then was in plaster from my hand all the way up to here, on my arm, and was sort of stuck like this. I had I could only move in right angles for weeks, <laughs> so it was definitely that, or um, the time I had my appendix taken out as well. Um, in the build up to that, it was unbearable stomach pain absolutely unbearable nearly ended us through fear and shock four foot rat snake in the system of a toilet previous tenants left it behind dyed blue from toilet chemicals called kevin mckissington the <laughs> third uh anyway right let's let me let me read this so we knew the Allied bombings over the Ruhr Valley were hurting the Germans badly, but we didn't know where they'd moved production of certain weapons, specifically the new STG-44 assault rifle. This could be it. A secret assembly plant and weapons stockpile and a fortification along the Siegfried Line near Fort Schmerzen. It would be a golden opportunity to disrupt the resupply of this fine weapon to their front lines. Uh, Clemmie remembers going on church camp when she turned 16. She was 15 at the time in Finland on Little Island on our own. Girls were giggly and screamy, so when they suddenly came, when you heard a high-pitched scream, one of them seen a spider. Our priest was a scream woman, called one of the other girls in charge. A sand snake? Never heard of a sand snake. Some are freakishly fast. I see I see that on like wildlife shows and things like that. You get snake chase. Generally, they're Australian shows, and you have these snake handlers going out, and they're like, so uh, we've had a call about a really vicious, vicious little blighter here hiding out under someone's house we're gonna go see if we can grab it and then they turn up and they go all right so tell us where's the where's this snake at and the person who lives there goes oh it's just under there and they go all right let's have a look and then you just see the snake go Vroom! where'd it go what <laughs> so fast we want to been in the house without heating for nearly five months so, so sad Took a dust shovel, picked it up and threw it in the glass. Well, that's... You don't throw a sand snake into the grass. Even I know that. <laughs> First, find a way inside and get a disguise and proper papers. Use the silenced pistol for that. Steal assembly blueprints and machine instructions for the gun. Locate parts and weapons cache. Grab the latest version. Set an explosive charge. And then get out of there using any means necessary. Salt rifle is truly revolutionary in its design. Fully automatic fire. Large magazine capacity. Low weight and the range and accuracy of a rifle in single shots and short bursts. No other firearm in the arsenal that matches its qualities. Awesome. There was a beach. Oh, okay. Fine. Probably made its way home. Okay. So, we've got to sneak our way into a facility and get ourselves a brand new gun. There's some health right here. We'll certainly take that. And then just keep an eye out for the guards. I see one. I'm hoping that I can still use the sniper rifle. It's said to use the pistol, but... Pistol won't work from this range. I'd love to visit Australia one day to catch some of their snakes. I have zero idea about anything they have available. All I can remember... Whoa, who's shooting now? This ain't fair, I can't see. 
There he is. We got him. All I know about Australia is that it seems to be one of the most dangerous places for wildlife on the planet. And as a result, I have very little interest in going there. Because it feels like there's a very strong chance I may not ever come back. <laughs> cool to stand snake because it likes to live in places with lots of water. And you're surrounded by water. Oh, of course, you said you was on a tiny little island. Okay, now I think it's time for the little pistol. Australia is does feel like a scary place. Having said that, though, sit down. Having said that, though, New Zealand. I'd be happy to go and have a little look around New Zealand. And they're only neighbours. You know, like, how different are they? I imagine very, but... That's why I want to go and visit. To find out for myself. Okay, stairway down. That's going to be important. You don't have to say a word. Ah, some papers. We need those. And now I just need to try and find a uniform. So that we can sneak around a bit better. Aha! And there is said uniform. Nice. Now we need to holster our weapon. I can't remember how to do that. How does one holster their weapon, good sir? I don't know. I'm going to need to look this one up. <laughs> Holster. It was Q. Literally every button on the keyboard except that one. My girl pals and the older boys who are five, maybe? You are too old than us. And then the three leaders and kitchen staff. That's it. Those are good fun. I remember going on camps and stuff. Scouting camps and that kind of thing. Always good fun. Always good fun. I loved coming back from them smelling of wood smoke and that sort of stuff. Good evening, gentlemen. How's it all going? I hope that it... Oh, papers? Here you go. You're welcome. So now we have unfettered access to this little fortification. He, he's not convinced though. Oh, now he is. Now he's happy. He's just, he's just got a bit of a squint. Did you see the sass of the look he was giving me? You're giving me the over-the-shoulder stare right there. I saw you. What do you say that, uh... After this war is over, you and me, we, um... No? Alright, okay. Well, never mind then. Never mind. <laughs> Real problem with spiders, so I think that would... That's also the big thing as well. You can't... Surely you can't go to a country, right, for a holiday or to live you can't go to a country where you need to be checking your shoes and under the toilet seat for insects and that kind of thing that can't be done whoa gifted sub from jay to kingslayer thank you so much for the gifted sub my friend jay enjoy the subscription and emotes kingslayer id here's my papers those are improper okay well i'll, I'll go the other way then word <laughs> Yeah, you can't go to a country where you've got to check, like, toilet seats, your shoes for spiders. Because if you don't, you might get bitten by one, and that will be your death sentence. Who can... Oh, my pass? Here you are. Sorry. What do you mean, American spy? It was good enough for everybody else. Oh, he doesn't seem too bothered anymore. Oh, he's going to pull the alarm! He's going to pull the alarm! Okay, th that mission went wrong for some reason. Oh, we've got oh, we got to start again. What? Hang on. No, I did just load... Right, okay. Dinner plate size. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a no-go. It's a no from me. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, this time, maybe let's try not executing the guards and see if the... Or at least the guy in the watchtower. Okay, yeah, the pistol doesn't work from this range. Oh, it does work from this range. We got him. So now I see him over there. I think he's got to be our first shot this time. And then you do the guy in the watchtower. That's how you do it, tactically. Well, it's set. I never go into Australia. <laughs> Have you heard of the bird-eating spider? I have. He I've heard about that. It's a colossal creature. My parents were supposed to be going to Australia for uh, for their wedding anniversary, but unfortunately, a virus happened. And they had to put those plans to side. Shh. It's over now, Lawbreaker. Your spree is at an end. Okay, so now maybe I can just make it through the rest of the base. Tactically. Ew. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm in a German uniform! If I'm in a German uniform and I have my gun holstered, they shouldn't be suspicious of me. Why did he shoot? That's disgraceful. Did you watch? You bet I, I bet I'm going to go downstairs and they're all going to be chummy with me. Everything's going to be fine. Maybe not. Maybe it was my accent. <laughs> or what, because I went in there and went, Hello everybody! Rather than going in there and going, Guten Tag everyone. Here we are. Here's my papers. Sorry. Das ist mein papers. I don't know German. So I'm going to stop going down that avenue before it becomes offensive. Okay, so this time I need to... F we're going to sneak around. Can I... Maybe I can kill the officer without causing too much grief. Okay, I think I'm going to try and kill... Let's save so that we don't have to replay, first of all. And then... I'm going to attempt to execute this officer. Nope, didn't work. Okay, so executing the officer, not the way forward. Maybe just sneaking around? Oh, my papers. Here they are. How can he tell? <laughs> it's okay, though, because these guys don't know. You guys don't know. Hello. Yeah, see? They don't care. It's fine. <laughs> Kingslayer. Come on! People say it's very rare to encounter one. <laughs> Are you saying that I should consider myself lucky if I ever come across a bird-eating spider? <laughs> I don't know about that. Good evening, gentlemen. How are we? Here, here's my, here are my papers. You're welcome. What you got back here? Anything? Nothing? No, you're just... Good man. Doing the good fight. Nice one. Oh, that door's locked. Okay. Very lucky. I, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when they say, it's lucky when a bird poops on you. It's like, is it lucky or are you just trying to make me feel better about the fact that I've got bird poo on my shoulder? <laughs> Scientists! This is a good sign. If we're going after a new weapon. Yes, you may. What do you mean, hand a hoch? Say nothing. Coming at me with hand a hoch. Don't you know who I am? I mean, I anticipate we're going to have to reload and replay this again because now I've had to shoot some soldiers. However, they may not know. What have we got in here? Anything interesting? A huge barrel of oil and another scientist. Hi, sir. 
How are you doing? Ah, these must be the plans. Can I take these? Not without making him angry. Sorry, friend. Had to be done. Alright, we got the papers. Now. Can I make it further? I don't know what they're saying. Hello. <laughs> Ignore me. <laughs> I have no idea what they were saying, but it sounded very intense. It sounded like there was a lot of swearing in there as well. <laughs> oh, here are the rifles. We'll just arm ourselves up here, I think. Can't open those doors. Okay. So give me some of these all-powerful guns. Oh, yes. This gun feels good already. And we haven't even fired any of it yet. Very lucky, he says. Alright, we're going to do a save right here. Got something in my eye. I'm aware that we said earlier on in the stream that wearing glasses prevents you from getting stuff in your eye, but apparently I was wrong about that. That's fine. Oh. Beautiful. Alright. Plant the bombs. And then let's get out of here. How do you know it was me, though, boys? You don't know it was me, do you? This guy is a strafing champion. How do you know it was me? I just walked out of the room and it blew up. That's not my fault. Oh, yeah, this gun. It feels very good. It feels punchy and weighty. And I guess this is going to be a massacre to the finish now. How has this guy taken so many bullets? I'm just going to switch that off as well. Uh, okay, switching the alarm off has absolutely zero effect. Everyone is still alert. Oh, great time to reload. Can some of these people drop health, please? My longevity is in danger. I'm in trouble. There's some health. Thank you. Thank you. Instantly going to lose it all again. But. Taken out. Get them, boys. Oh, this is just going to be endless waves of troops, right? Absolutely 100%. I'm not gonna lie, when I heard that they have those birds that can kick harder than Ronaldo, I was a bit Oh, uh cassowaries? Is that what is that what they are? Is that what I'm talking about? Like the giant, terrifying emu ones with those really horrifying claws. I think I think they're called cassowaries. Those are frightening. Australia is essentially populated by bosses. I don't think that's an any exaggeration. Australia is just boss fight after boss fight in terms of wildlife. <laughs> oh, ow, 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 ow! Well, there goes literally all of the health that I just picked up. Can I creep past? I can. That's how you do that bit. Just with a bit less death. I'm not going to a country with spiders the size of my face. <laughs> Very, very well put. Alright, that's him out. Okay, he's come out from behind his gun as well, which is very useful. 
come over here and fight me. Cowards. All of you. Oh, not over. That's fine, though. Oh my god, there's so many. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Have some of that. Walked right into my trap. Sit him down. I am, I just pray I come back alive. I hope you do as well. The animals of Australia are not to be messed with. That much is certain. Okay, we can't go that way, so it's up the, back up the stairs. Which is a problem, because they have the high grounds. But we're doing okay. These alarms are going nuts. God, it's never ending. Please, I just want to leave. Oh, okay. Hopefully that's the end of the infinitely spawning waves. And now we can get back to just exfiltrating safely. Already terrified of spiders who want... Already terrified of spiders here who are the size of a big grape. <laughs> you want me to visit a place where the spiders are the size of my face? So I, I wouldn't visit either. The world's most venomous snake that bites eight times in one strike? Oh, hi, 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 hi. Sit down. Oh, there's more. There was me hoping the spawning waves had all wrapped up. First and foremost, the guy in the spotlights needs to go. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Who's shooting from behind now? No one? Okay, sniper rifle's got to come back out now. Let's reload it first. See, venomous snakes are a problem, but they're the ones I'm not interested in meeting. Too, too much. Who's shooting me from where? Why are you allowing them to spawn behind me still? It's running away. Don't run! You have the audacity to creep up behind me and shoot me? Oh great, and now I'm going to get even more spawning infinitely. We're going to get picked off. Please don't kill me. Give me the health, first of all. Thank you. Second of all, don't let these guys run all the way around, because they're going to come back and haunt me. I see this one here as well. He's out. He's down. I see you running. Oh no, that's a bad choice. That's a bad choice. I see all those guys hiding out in the fox hole. Quick reload. Give it to me. Oh, this just doesn't end. Hopefully it will soon. It's him sat down. Some more health right there. I see you all the way over there. Don't think I don't. Oh, they're all coming for me now. You can go. One sniper bullet left. In the clip. Then we'll just get a quick reload. Oh, hi. Come back out and... F oh, there's that one over there as well, though. I'll take you. And then there's you. See you all low down. You know what? I've just got to make a beeline. I saw that this guy dropped some health. I need that. Give me health.
Well, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> that really wasn't worth it. Turns out I didn't need the health as much as I thought I did. Okay, so there are people behind me still. Let's deal with that. Why? Can we stop having people spawn behind me? It's really, really throwing me off. I don't even know if I got the guy in the watchtower. I kind of hope I did, but I don't think I... Oh, he is gone. That's good. Okay. Now I just kind of need people to drop health pickups for me. I don't know how he managed to tank all of those shots, but... He did. These guys need to go as well, because they're only going to be a problem for me in a second. Oh, leave me alone! Brittany didn't deserve this. Oh man, that's an old meme. Why are none of these people dropping canteens for me? I need some health, please. Oh, he dropped some. I'll take that. Cool. Let's get a little save going. Okay, this time... I don't need the health as urgently as I thought I did. We're gonna sneak around into here where that mounted machine gun was and do things... Uh-oh. Do things this way. Be right back, says Kingslayer. Not a problem. Catch you in a bit. Oh, the beginning of the end right here. Give me the health, give me the health. I'll take it, thank you. Can't get through there, fine. Sit him down. Bit more health for me, I need that, I'll take it gladly. The mounted guns. Bit more health as well. Unstoppable. We are, however, running out of ammunition for this gun, so we do need to get a little wiggle on. Alright, let me out. Not that way, though. That's barbed wire. This kind of feels like the final sprint out of the level. Oh my god. There's no cover anywhere. Take that, though. I hear you coming from behind. It's alright. We're out. We've done it. That's fine. That's all we need. Don't care anymore. Oof. Intense. But we're getting there. We are getting there. This is going to be a delicate phase of the Schmerzen operation, Lieutenant. You're entering a town that is home to the last train station along the railway before Fort Schmerzen. Most communications in the region are routed through a radio command post used by the Gestapo and high-ranking SS officers. These lines of communication must be cut before we can move on in Schmerzen. The town is well occupied by a garrison of skilled winter troops and dotted with security posts equipped with an alarm system. Once the alarm is tripped by a guard, rest assured that troops will be sent out to you investigate. Get past the defences and plant your explosives in the radio command post. Once the post is destroyed, Schmerzen will be cut off from the outside world and you'll have to get to the rendezvous point at the train station. You should be able to find a way out through the local SS Commandant's residence on the outer edge of the town. Tread lightly and stay sharp, pal. May the force be with you. We don't have time for mistakes now. Beautiful. My ammo situation for this machine gun is slightly dire, though, so I'm hoping that maybe... We will come into the possession of more during this level. Better reload the sniper rifle. That's probably going to be useful for us. So what's everybody's plans for tomorrow? 
Anyone got anything going on tomorrow? Exciting or otherwise? Ow, ow, ow. Oh. He's tripped the alarm. The alarm's been tripped already. The alarm has been tripped already. Well, that's not a very good sign. Let's just shut it off. Uh-oh. Fine. Okay. Let's put those guys to sleep. Good start to the level? Absolutely not. Can we recover? Remains to be seen? Possibly. We'll give it a go. Maybe we should be rolling around with something silenced. Suppressed. Maybe we should also have the high ground, Anakin. Turns out we can't have the high ground. It doesn't go anywhere or do anything for us. What does that say? Spoyer foe. Oh, S spoyer foe. It's all Greek to me. Hello. I was going to say, we can see through the window here, so I'm reckoning that we can go in. And we can indeed. My phone has been buzzing non-stop in my pocket. Why am I only ever popular when I'm streaming? Huh, interesting. Cool. Someone's trying to kickstart a quiz. Seeing as how the UK is going to be stuck in lockdown for seemingly ever. May as well have a little quiz. Keep spirits up. Oh, itchy eye. Checked into looking at old pictures. Now weeping looking at pictures of my niece in a bear outfit. Oh. <laughs> I love doing that. I, lo I love reminiscing. I love going back and looking at old pictures and... Remembering a simpler time. Don't ring the alarm! Alright, well, wherever he's gone, I'm sure there's an alarm there. Yep, just heard it trip. We're just going to have to run through the town now and hope. Where did he even go? Let's just turn that off. She was so darn cute, I bet. <laughs> he threw a grenade through the window, you vandal! I don't know if he necessarily deserved to die for that, but... Even still. <laughs> he was the one who rang the alarm. Couple of shots to the knees. I'll put him right. Ow! We got him. Oh, I see you up there. Have a slice of them apples. What does this say? Dunno. Can't read that. Now she's walking and gonna start talking soon. Ah, oh, that's that's when the fun times really begin. That's when some of the fun times end, but a whole heap of new ones begin. Okay, I see you over there. No one else in the town put off by the sniper rifle going off every now and then? Seemingly not. Which is, you know, fine. That works great for me. Oh, mounted machine gun all the way down there. Two for one right there. I love a good two for shot. It's always good. I miss her baby form. That's okay. Got a whole heap more of exciting times to look forward to now in her growing up form. Oh! 
steady. A toddler now. That's that. That's the age. They're mobile. They make loud noises. Shooting me through the fence. I see a searchlight as well going off. Right there. Who did it? I don't know who did it, but I will take the health that was provided for me so nicely there. And we're just going to leave this place. That caused me a lot of pain and a lot of heartache, and I don't wish to go back. Hello, we can go in here. Fear not, peasants. I work for the other side. I am a simple farmer's man. I am here to kick bottom and ensure the survival of the future. Today! Can we play the piano? <gasps> you can? That's unbelievable. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I just said that as a flippant remark. I was like, ah, you can't play the piano. You can pluck the cello! <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. And I know that you're all sitting there going, shoot it. No. I have more respect for music, and so should you. We are not going to shoot the cello. What the heck was that? Oh, hi! Where did you... Oh. Hiding in the wardrobe. Yeah, we're not going to shoot the instruments. Have more respect for music. Oh, there's an alarm. No one here who wants to press it. That's a good sign. Oh, we have a little uh, a little camp right here. Is that man alive or is he dead? That answers that question. And that's him sorted as well. Beautiful. That's so that's so cool. I'm so glad that you can play the piano and the cello in this game. I love, love, love little additional extras like that. Those make video games for me. I wish that more games had those kinds of things in them. Just let you kind of disconnect from the from the game for a little bit. Just like a little hidden easter egg. I love them. They're, they're so, so good. Games don't do them often enough, or if they do do them often enough, I'm never clever enough to find them. <laughs> and the thing is like you've not been able to interact with like anything else in this game as far as I know so I was just not expecting to actually be able to play and then all of a sudden there was music started happening and that's awesome I hear him running Oh, you got one of the good guns. Give me, give me the, give me the bullets for that. Oh, he rang the bell. I can stop that nonsense right now. I'm not having any more bells ringing. Thank you very much. Can't go any further. Fine. I hear them running. Should have been more light-footed, boys. Could have avoided a nasty accident.
anywhere else for me to go? We went all the way over here, didn't we? We didn't go all the way over here. I just came as far as collecting the gun. What's further around this way? You know me. I like to do my exploration. Sometimes I wish I didn't, though, because it don't often make things complicated. Put us in a bad spot. We end up taking so much extra damage. Oh. Well, you know what that's good for. Oh, they have grenades too, huh? See how it is. Oops. Be quiet. Look at all these boys. They think they can bring it? They ain't got a hope in chance. There we go. We're full up on the good guns ammo now. Waffen. I think that means Air Force. Waffen SS? Or something like that. It's aerial... Something to do with the air. I wish they'd stop hiding in the wardrobes. <laughs> Starting to whittle my health down, you boys are. Oh, that's the that's the exit. Okay, we've found the wrong place. Still got a lot more work to do. The game was very insistent on telling me I haven't completed the objectives yet. <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. We will go back and we will work harder. Be rest assured, I will go and complete all the objectives now. Okay, this is the camp we just emptied of its soldiers. More or less. I am seeing a couple more though. It looks like there's some hiding around behind these constructions here. Nice. Can we go inside these? I hope we can. I hope there's some health to find in here. We can go in. I kind of wish that we hadn't. Because it turns out there isn't... Oh, there is plenty of health in here. Oh, well, I'll take it. And we also need to plant some of the explosives in here too. So we'd better do that. Same for in here. Nice. One more. There we go. And I think we got a couple on the outside. That I just need to put in as well. And then we can finally go to the exit. Get out of this level and move on with our lives. Are we going to get inundated by soldiers though? Are we going to have like... We're going to have men coming after us now? How did I still lose health? Yep, there goes the alarm. Didn't you just know? Well, the good news is at least we cleared the way out ahead accidentally. So it should be a little bit simpler. And it turns out it is certainly that. Let me out of here. Yes! Oh, we're doing so well. The Schmerzen Express. Excellent work, pal. By cutting off the main communication centre in the town, there's no way for reinforcements to be called in time to save Fort Schmerzen. You've entered a public park, where opposition should be fairly light. Should. Chances are, you'll be able to get through without much trouble. The train station, however, is a much more difficult nut to crack. It's covered by machine gun towers overlooking the cargo yard and the tracks themselves. This station is the rendezvous point, but there are a few details to take care of first. Before the squad can join you, you'll have to cut the power to the electrified perimeter fence so that they can get through it. The power will go out briefly in the main building and draw some of their troops out to investigate. 
get into the station building, find a radio and use it to send out a false order so that the incoming train will make a stop at the station. When the train arrives, it will be trivial to eliminate the engineer and have one of the rangers commandeer the train. You're almost there, Lieutenant. Good luck. Okay. Alarm bells still ringing. Alarm bells, alarm bells, alarm bells. Okay. So apparently resistance should be fairly light. Do we stick to the path? Or go through the middle? I'm not sure. Either way, we're probably going to get ripped to pieces by gunfire. And dogs, apparently. The return of man's best friend, or in this case, my worst enemy. You love to see it, except when you don't. Maybe we should try and sort of skulk around the outside a little bit. Pog. No, it was a dog. Talking of which. Gotta put the dog out of his misery first. Oh, and we got the we got his we got his handler as well. <laughs> nice. Oh wait, his hand his handler's bulletproof! My goodness me, how many bullets? I'll have what he's having. What even is Pog? Where did Pog come from? I get that like people seem to be saying that now instead of good job, nice one, that was impressive. But I don't I don't understand how it came to be or or why. I know in our oh there you are. I know in our uh, Pokemon streams we had a Nidorino called Poggers. Which I'm assuming is some kind of uh, reference to to that. In fact, I, I know that that's what Poggers is. But I didn't know that that's what Poggers meant at the time. I thought that was just a cool name that someone had come up with for our Nidorino. And it was only after we finished streaming Pokemon Blue that I was made aware of the fact that Pog had now become an internet word. And... That was where Poggers, the Nidorino, drew its name inspiration from. Because uh, even though I spend a great deal of my time on the internet and in content creating circles, I have no idea what the trends are, the current buzzwords, or anything like that. I almost try and make it my mission not to know that kind of stuff. I feel like I enjoy the process of content creation more if I don't know what's going on in the world. Okay. Gotta be careful of oncoming trains, apparently. In light of that, uh, we're just gonna do a quick save. Just a quick one. There we go. Onwards and forwards. Oh, the game auto-saved for me anyway. Is that another pup? I think it is. The handler's even taken a bit as well. He's down. Pog is play of the game, no? I don't know. I know I, I know nothing about it. I don't know if it's an abbreviation. I don't know if it's just a... If it's just a word. Or whatever. Has Pog become the new MVP? Is that what Pog is now? Is... A reinvention of MVP. I don't know these things. I'm such an old man on the internet. Hey, you what? What's that you say? Look at my day. 
that's how we do it. This is when m the Medal of Honor games really shine. It's when it's not when you're being like hounded by snipers and that sort of thing. It's when you're sneaking into enemy installations and wiping out entire battalions of soldiers. That's when this game takes on a whole new level of awesome. I've got a searchlight to take care of here. Clemmy becomes a basketball. A, a basketball. A a blanket ball. <laughs> Not a basketball. Basketball is something else. A blanket ball. Get all cosy. Get tucked in nice and tightly there. Get some warmth circulating. But this is the thing. My room is freezing cold a lot of the time. But as soon as I get into bed, get under my duvet... My body heat just gets trapped and it becomes so warm and cosy. How did you spot us? How are you shining a light through the floor at us? I disagree with that a little bit. I'm wondering if here is going to be a safe spot to try and... We should probably try and not destroy the tower guards, actually. Like, generally speaking, I've got quite good circulation. So, my my blood carries body heat around very, very well. And it retains my body. And my body heat retains heat very, very well also. So, oh, look at me. I'm like a ballerina between these searchlights. Just dancing, making it look easy. Ah, oh, you ain't seen nothing like that. He is the king. Of spotlight dancing. What a champ. <laughs> Turns out this wasn't the way to go. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh, hi. There we go, we're done. you throwing a grenade at? We're in the same room, you moron. Unbelievable. So yeah, I think I'm quite fortunate in that regard. Good circulation. And good body heat. Unless that has nothing to do with that. But I think it does. Alright. What have I got to do to this? Cut the electrical power. Easy peasy. Now what? Send the radio transmission. Oh, yeah, the searchlights are out. Okay. I'm wondering if now I've got a limited time. Oh, they're not out. Okay. The searchlights run on a different power grid, it seems. Can we ballet our way through again? I think we can. Watch it. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Was this wise? Probably not. Oh, no. Oh, we got we got tags. We've been tagged a little bit, but we've survived. We're fine. Do you ever get a strange itching on your foot? Um, like, a occasionally? But, like, not a persistent itch or... Ow, 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 ow! Okay, that was bad. Like, not a persistent itch. It will go away. Having said that, of course, now we've spoken the word itch several times. I'm now quite itchy. Similar to yawning. You know how it is. All you gotta do is say the word yawn once and then you're stuck. Alright, this time I've decided that ballet is not the pursuit for me. And we're just gonna snipe out the guard towers.
Except for that guy. Except for that guy. That guy, that guy, um... That guy's good. Maybe we can dance between them. Maybe we just gotta do the same... Do the same but better, as always. Maybe vault the fence this time. And come around this way. Watch it. Alright, I think I'm going to follow the spotlight around this time, rather than go straight for the gate. This looks like a cleverer idea. Up until the light comes back around. We're doing okay, though. No, we're not doing okay! There's no sprint button. I'm already moving as fast as I can. Which is even more infuriating. We can walk. Walking ain't gonna do us much good. We can crawl. That might do us some good. But not when we're already trying to outrun the spotlights. Okay, following the lights seems to work better than just running for the gate. So we will do that again. However, maybe this time if I can just crouch behind the boxes here and do it this way. There you go. That's where the smart money is. Gotta crouch. We'll just hide... He might catch us. He has caught us, but it's okay. Let's just hide again. Wait for the heat to die down. Drop a save. It's the one thing I wish I could take from video games into real life. Is the ability to, like, just to save your progress. You know, like, before you take on, like, a really major decision. A really significant change to your life. You could save your progress. Carry on living. And then if it works out, great. However, if it doesn't, you can just reload and start over. Before you made the decision. Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, and a, and a pup as well. There's a lot of guards there. I can hear them. There we go. But I just think that'd be like a really cool feature. Loads of stuff from video games would make great real life additions, you know. But I think the ability to save your progress before doing something major would be a cool one. Or maybe you only get like a certain a certain number of saves every um like every ten years or something like that, you know. Just because otherwise you would constantly save your progress and live the best life, and no one would get anything out of anything. So maybe you only, maybe you only get like one save a year or something. Oh my grenade just bounced back. True to type, I suppose. But... They'd be like the save crystals from the PlayStation 1 version of Tomb Raider. Uh, Tomb Raider 3, I think it was, had the save crystals. Okay, well that whole section could have gone a lot better than it did. Which I feel like is the calling card for this series, to be honest. That didn't go to plan, could have gone a lot better than it did. But like I say, this is when the game is at its best. You're in a tight corridor. You're sneaking into an enemy installation and absolutely annihilating the forces within. Not the Star Wars film, you understand. Just the... Oh, this is the Smackson train. We can give Colonel, we can give Colonel Sanders a lift into the base. It's very important that we get that chicken recipe to the mustard gas factory. Here we go. 
Lieutenant Powell, the Rangers in your squad are some of the Allies' finest soldiers, and until now their talents and training have been wasted on front-line charges and terrible attrition strategies. The Rangers started out as the United States' answer to the British commandos, and I'm glad to say that we're going to go back to those roots with this mission. When the boxcar doors open, rush the platform and kill the snipers in the towers before they can react. Head inside, unlock the main cell block doors to free any prisoners of war. While they're being moved to the train, locate the various structural weak points identified from diagrams and photos collected earlier by Patterson. Use your compass to navigate to these spots. At the lowest levels of the facility, mustard gas may still be present. You should procure a gas mask before heading down there. Plant the charges and get back to the train before the place collapses in on itself. When it does, Colonel Muller, or whatever corrupt, desperate plans he was carrying out, will be buried forever. Best of luck to you and your team, pal. No matter what happens, I consider myself honoured and privileged to have served with you. This is it, by the sounds of it. The final mission. And we should be ready for anything. We have got... We've got the riot shotgun again. Fantastic. Alright, so we've got some snipers to take out. So I'm feeling the sniper scope. I can't move out of this pen, so I'm slightly concerned that these guys are just going to get dusted straight away. Hello! <laughs> okay. Please let me out, so that I may destroy people. Three of nine casualties already. Four. Okay. This is bad news. We've lost four of them already. I don't know how long we have to find fend everybody off right here. There goes number five. I can't recharge my weapon fast enough. Six, okay. How are you supposed to do this without losing anyone, by the way? Or whilst keeping casualties to a minimum, whatever that means. And now I, and I'm one of them. Okay. What an insane start. Like, have I got a move from this spot, or...? Oh, there are two sides to every story, of course. In the immortal words of Jeremy Kyle. And now it seems I'm stuck on this side. Alright, well this didn't go well. That's not the way to do it. Don't go the other way. Because then you get stuck. So if we go this way instead... Is there a medic? Because I have been executed. As has literally everybody right away. You, you expect me to defend everyone here? What in the hell is going on with this opening? Look out. Are we done here? No, not yet. Six of nine. And we have lasted so much less time than the previous run. And we're dead as well. Great. Okay. What a start. Glad to have played. Thank you very much. Alright, one, two, three already. Four. 
Like, we need a better sniper rifle than this. I can't be loading bullets in one at a time like this when everything's critical. I also can't afford to be missing. Okay. Five of nine down. Where are they going? Just stay on this side with me. It seems to be safer here. He says. Comedic timing. Make yourself known. We're done? Fantastic. Great. You go on ahead and release the prisoners. Oh, great. Okay. Now I've got a whole heap of this. Okay. <laughs> yep. That went about as well as I anticipated it would. Try and be a bit more tactful this time. Okay, better. Better. Still better, still better. That's some health for me right there. I see some more has been dropped over here. I'll take that also. Thank you very much. All right. Now, we're... It's about to say, now we're in business. Now, I think we're in business. I'm not sure where those guys came from, though. I feel like I had cleaned this place out, but apparently not. Tactical. Open the doors. Let me in. Maybe I should... I'm going to close this behind me. Just in case, you never know. I also feel like getting a grenade ready will help here. Let's go. Nice! Alright, I've got another one right here. Okay, so let me shut this. I've got another wheel. Oh, there's a lot going on in there. I can hear them. We're going again. We're doing the same strategy. There we go. What? <laughs> Wait, what happened there? I had one guy running into the corner, and that guy warped from over here to there. Game. Don't be pulling a crash on me. Don't be cheating just because you're losing. That's not how we play. There they go. They're down. Steady, steady. Okay, anything I can do out here just yet? Probably not. That's probably the way we need to leave. I could appreciate some more health right now, anybody? Everybody? Alright, they got a lever for me. Unlock the cell block doors and free the prisoners of war. Okay. Hi, boys. We'll hold this area and take care of the POWs. Okay. Send a few more men your way to help out. Go ahead and start laying those charges. Will do. Meet us back here when you're done. I shall. Okay, guys, let's get those POWs out Oh, he's not talking to me this time. <laughs> Alright, 
onwards. Oh, you're one of mine. Hi there. Sorry. You one of mine as well? You're gonna need a better gun than that, my friend. There's a load of ST STGs in there. Go and grab one of them. The door's rigged to blow. Alright. Your... Your head was bent in a direction it shouldn't have bent in. Kaboom, baby! Alright. It looks safe. This is the life. Just mowing them down. <laughs> well, the guards start coming and they don't stop coming. But now they have. Okay, follow the left-hand wall first of all. Anything for me back here? Some grenades. Okay. Useful. Not essential currently. Plant explosives on the fuel flow control units and the main fuel line valve. That's all we got to do. Okay. First things first is you destroy the red exploding barrels. Just so you haven't got to worry about that accidentally going off in your face when you come back later on. I know there's some more behind me. I'm going to take the risk. Ha <laughs> ha! Sorry, boys. But I don't play that way. Fellas, come this way. Oh, you're in a bad shape, my friend, aren't you? You're bad. Uh, I wish we had a medic with us, but we don't. I'm just going to take this one out as well. These barrels are bulletproof. No, they are not. Give me more. Okay, could potentially aim through the floor if there are anyone, any soldiers down there. Can't get in there just yet, so it looks like we're going down. Down in an earlier round. Excuse me, sir. That's a mighty casual walk for someone who's in war. I see somewhere up ahead that we need to blow up. Oh man, bad time to reload. Very, very bad time to reload. Very bad time to be anywhere or doing anything for that matter. Whereabouts am I? I I'm, I'm kind of lost now. Right, so this is... This is here. I'm hoping it's a case of all roads lead to Rome. We should probably be heading this way because it looks like our, our buddies can follow us if we go this way. Oh, okay. Do any of you guys want to take point, maybe? Because I'm not feeling too hot. One of you just shot me in the back. And I think it might have been you. Yeah, you're right to look guilty. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Here I am, trying to save the world. And I got morons like these guys, the best the allies have to offer. Shooting me in the back. 
and not a fan. And these guys I don't think can follow me any further, so I'm all on my own now as well. I am, however, being gifted with loads of canteens, so we are at least recovering health, he says, as he is shot straight back down to where he just was, health-wise. Great, thank you for that. Ah, some more health. Love to see it, thank you. Alright, I think I've got one more explosive to drop. Yep, just one more. And then we should be on the way. Thanks for your help on that one, boys. Much appreciated. And obviously you can't follow me over the next blockade either, so... This is where we part. Fair enough. Catch you later. Thanks for all the fish. So we can pop a bomb there. Is that something I want to do right now? It's something I want to do to progress the mission. But I also want to just do a little bit of exploration. To see if there's anything else going on. What is this way, for instance? Is this anything important? It's a way that I can't go. Fair enough. Through the face. Alright, and then that's the wheel that I need to turn. Who shot me from where? Alright, we'll go and deal with that in a minute. Plant the bomb. Go and turn the wheel. Oh, maybe it was you. I was just looking in the wrong y-axis. Maybe it was you. Hello? Hello? Jay, I see you. Hello? Are you receiving me? Hello? Hi. What's up? Is Twitch melting down? Don't say Twitch is melting down. Is that having another problem? Because no one was able to chat yesterday around the time I stopped streaming. I don't want it to be going there again. Find a way to the inner facility. Both of us had pretty much the exact same reaction right there. Check elevators. Has the stream dropped at all, is what I'm saying. You typed hello with a question mark, which made me think that you've been trying to send messages that haven't come through. So I'm just wondering if that is the case or not. If actually, everything's fine. People are shooting me through the floor. Or through the ceiling, as is my perspective. Alright. Let me down. Let's move on. Objective complete. You're a good man, I'm good. Okay, cool. I thought the stream had all gone weird. Given Twitch's issues over the past couple of days, I would not have been surprised. So I just wanted to double check. We'll take those guys out right at the start. No one to the left of me, no one to the right. I think there's one more in that room. No one to the left... So many people to the right. Your eye still hurts. I'm not sure what the option is. Man, look at this gun right here. I'm not sure what uh, what your option would be. I I mean, if you've already tried saline. I'm assuming there's not much else you can do other than hope it goes away. Or try and pick it out with your fingers, but... One, that sounds grim. Two, I don't know if that's actually even possible. Oh, okay, was kind of hoping he'd grab the ladder there, but... Apparently, apparently the player character's a bit of an idiot. Hello, boys! No.
that's put an end to that. See, he grabbed the ladder this time. He learned his lesson. The broken shin reminded him to grab the ladder this time. Alright. Take me down. Down to the level below. Well, that's hardly fair. You're going to shoot me before I even have a chance to spin around on the ladder? Not cool. So we're looking to try and procure a gas mask before releasing mustard gas into the base or whatever it is we're here to do next. Somebody is a little bit trigger happy. And I think it might be you. Or maybe it's one of you two. I think we found the trigger happy one. 12 health left, please. Don't do this. Thank you. No! No! Rip. Big rip. Okay, he went to the left. I, I did see that. And then he came out again. Got him. A much better start. Much, much better. I am going to go up topside again and kill those guards because you never know. <laughs> you see him recoil in horror. What, do, what are you hoping to achieve here, sir? <laughs> what? What? Unbelievable. Very success. Oh, that is nice. Ah, yes. Look at him struggle to load his gun as well. And that's exactly what I was saying about all the cool little features in this game. There's so many nice little like character animations and models. They didn't have to put it in the game. But you know what? They did. And it's great. Just creates a little bit of extra character to the game. You're playing well. Please consider playing a modern FPS. Maybe one day. Uh, was it? Uh, Kingslayer was talking about Frontline. I don't know what that is, but if it's similar to this, maybe we should give that a go. I don't know if that's modern or classic FPS either. But the thing is, I'm not... I'm only playing well because we have already played this level, so I know where everyone is. And also, do FPSs come with single-player campaigns now? Frontline was 2001. Frontline was pre this then, I think. I think this was 2005. But yeah, do FPSs even come with single-player campaigns now? Because I am 100% not interested in playing multiplayer FPSs. Because everyone is so good at them, you're on the bottom rung. Unless you play it from launch. And I'm not all about that. I just get stressed out and irritated. So if they have single player campaigns that I can get my teeth into, then quite possibly. Um, I was watching Get Good Gaming. He play He's played Doom. Like the new Doom, which uh, or the new Doom. The most recent Doom, uh, which looked pretty good. Pretty intense at times as well. Um... What else was he? What else did he play? He play uh, Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein as well. He played through. So may maybe, maybe. Whoa, that's a lot of people. That's definitely a grenade job. Well, that's taken care of it quite nicely. Rookie mistake though. Running in without reloading the weapon. Did you say I was playing well? 
I just hemorrhaged every ounce of my health for a moronic mistake. Oh, I was hoping there'd be some health around the corner here. However, I can't really add any new games to the to the roster right now. I am full. I have too many too many games that are, I've started and not completed, and loads of extra ones planned. So finding room for more is going to be a bit of a struggle at the moment. But maybe one day. Maybe one day. Please, guys, I need you to drop me some more health. Do me a solid, this guy. Ask and ye shall receive. How about some more health? That guy did not comply. Sad times. That's an unpleasant looking corridor right there. However, it does look like the way I need to go. When was the last save? Of course it was at the start. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go again. Settle in once more. For real this time. Not going to waste energy going upstairs. I have just remembered. I have got the shotgun. And this is probably a great level for that. We're just in a tight corridor. Just blast him in the face with a shotgun. Why not? This guy. Nimble. He's just running. Mighty. <laughs> Nothing like a belly full of lead. He is just hammering it. Okay, this one may be a job for the machine gun. He's out. He actually got shotgunned, which is cool. And I see the health, I'll take it. Wasn't enough though. We we desperately need some more. We need a significant health pickup rather than these little canteens. They they keep dropping. Like a full on first aid kit would be ideal right now. Like this one right here. Thank you. Udozokt, good evening. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Good to see you here. I hope everything's going alright for you today. Uh, console, this is actually on PC. Uh, it is available to purchase from GOG.com. Always been a PC gamer, so it's... That's the way it is. <laughs> so yeah, not actually on console. Uh, I'm not sure if it's still available on console. This game is very old. Uh, so it may not be available for for consoles anymore. If it is available for consoles, certainly none of the newest generations. This would have probably been PS2 sort of era. Alright, we're doing a save. I'm not making these mistakes again. But it is a phenomenally good game, this one. I would definitely recommend it. If you like first-person shooters or war games in general, this one's great. It's got a great mix of so many different gameplay styles. First-person shooter at its core, but there's also a great degree of, but there's a great degree of stealth in some of the levels. 
really satisfying to play through and beat. Ever play Mod 1 for PSX? Uh, no, I don't believe I did. My PlayStation game uh, repertoire is relatively short. I've not played many PlayStation games. Uh, I was al always always grew up in a Nintendo household. So, I grew up with the Super Nintendo uh, and then the Wii and other Nintendo brand products. Ah, uh, this is bad. I can't pretend that was anything other than a disaster. What was MOD1 for PlayStation? What was that one like? Because we were just talking about, actually, about playing other um, other first-person shooters and stuff like that. So if it's a if it is a first-person shooter that I can get my hands on, then maybe consider it at some point in the future. We have acquired the gas mask, and of course, somehow that's just alerted every soldier on the base. It's like when Indiana Jones picks up the golden idol and the whole temple falls to pieces. <laughs> you should, it's the best game. Tell me about it. Help. Get out of here. Help me to learn. Fill in some gaps in my knowledge. Because then I'll know whether or not I can add it to a list of stuff to play. Alright, let me out of here. Down we go. Into the depths below. Now we have a gas mask. We should be able to get through relatively simply. Or at least without dying. And now we have this gas mask overlay that's actually making it kind of difficult to work with. <laughs> okay. I don't like it. This is good. This has severely hampered my visibility, which I guess is true to form. That is what gas masks did, but at the same time, do not appreciate it at all. I need some more health, please. Don't worry about anything else. Just give me health. I'm fine for ammunition. Stop dropping ammunition. Just give me longevity. Apparently not. Not in this lifetime. How do they even know it's me through the gas mask? Like, how do they not know? Well, I guess the uniform, maybe. That probably gives it away. But if that's the case, why was I packed off on a mission in enemy lines in an American uniform? Where's the sense? If I'd have gone to war in a German uniform, then maybe I'd be able to sneak through this part of the level unhindered. But alas, they didn't do that for me. No one's dropping health. Please, I need some. Help a brother out. Ain't having it. Stop, you'll release the gas. I think that's the point of this mission. I see the wheel. You fools, look the gas! I would if I could, but I can't because I'm dead! Because none of these guys have the generosity to drop a health pickup in their entire careers. I'm sure one of the guards just shouted out, Hail Caesar. So I think you're in the wrong era, my friend.
already down to half health. They're just unforgiving at this point. Which I guess is fair, this is the last level in the game. But guys, come on! How did none of those hit him?! I completely disagree with everything that happened there. As long as whatever FPS we do go on to play has better bullet detection than this, that's fine. I knew, I knew he was going to come. I knew he was going to come around the corner. Okay. Making progress. Let's get a save down. So I haven't got a replay again. Please, like, all I want is just one health pickup. Stop shooting. I'll release the gas. My friends, that's why I'm here. And if we're gonna, if we're gonna set off the gas, we may as well do it in style. Just lob a grenade into the mix. You fools, the gas! Oh, they're all, they're all dying now. Because they haven't got gas masks. Ha <laughs> ha! There they are. They, they're dead. They are so, so dead. Fantastic. Turn the other wheel. Plant the explosives. Get back to the lift. 30 seconds to escape. Easy peasy. As long as they don't send on... Armed guards after me, also with gas masks. We'll be fine. Into the lift. Easy. After all that stress, easy peasy. We don't even need to worry about the gas mask anymore. However, we do now need to escape. I saw that health pick up right away. I've taken that. That was a full heal as well. Ooh, okay. Well, we ain't going that way. I'm sorry, I blinked. What? Do we just leg it then, I guess? I guess maybe I don't hide behind the barrels. I just pick up the health and run. Run and gun. Like a cuphead level. Yep, I think I think run and gun is the way we go. Not that way. Health though. Get out of my way. Oh, exploding barrels though. I'm going this way. I don't know if it's the correct way, but it's the way we're gonna go. Sorry, I can't stop to settle the check, boys. Okay, this way. Any more health? Oh, no. <laughs> maybe maybe just a straight up run and gun isn't the way. You know what? Shotgun time. This is what the shotgun was built for. This, this part of the level. Especially because it's like semi-automatic. I ain't got time for this. Get out of my way. None of us have time to wait around, boys. You don't know.
Can you... Guys, there's, there's important work that needs doing. Let me out. Okay, going this way. Please, let me live. I don't know how we're surviving that, but we are. This way, this way. Open the wheel. Let me through the door. That was tense, but we're there. Oh, it ain't over, though. Instant death. Instantly killed. Predictably. <laughs> We've made it to this section of the level with such little health, we're not actually going to survive it. We're, 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 we're not going to do this on the amount of health I have. Unless I'm able to just hide for a second. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it can't be done. One guy just walked through the wall. I saw that. Don't think I didn't. We're making it. We're making it. We're making it. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. I was there. I was there. I was there. I'm gonna do it though. I don't think I don't think I'm giving up. We're gonna fight through this. I don't think we can fight through it. I think how much level am I? St I'm literally starting that one with not enough, nowhere near enough health. It can't be done from this point again. Let me through! You took a whole shotgun blast to the chest and you didn't die. Okay, one of them smacked me with his rifle, but it doesn't matter. Ah, uh, more health, though. Give it to me. It was very poorly utilised right there. This is obscene. Any health hidden back here? No. Please let me... This is stupid. You got, ex you got explosions behind you, meaning you can't stand still. And you've got, you're just being peppered by soldiers from the front. Like you just can't get anywhere or do anything. That and I also need to have a reserve of health to be able to start the next level properly. We're on 100% health at the moment, so you know what, I'm going to save. And we're going to try and carry this forward. Let me through, boys, please. I haven't got time for all this. Maybe part of the battle is knowing when to switch to your machine gun. Canteen as well. I'm going to do another save. Slow and steady wins the race on this one. I walked, I walked the wrong way. I walked the wrong way. 
I'm going to struggle to remember to do an immediate left turn, though, every time. Grab the wheel, spin it, get out of here. 87 health, infinitely better. Infinitely better to take on this final stretch now. I'm feeling much more confident. He's dead. These guys are going to be a bit less of a problem. They're, apparently they're not. I did sit by some health behind the crates there, though. So that will keep us going a little fraction longer. Ah, give me all of them. That's fine. He's down. He's dead. Let me out. Who's doing it now? What have I got to do to get out of here? I was trying! For God's sake. They wouldn't let me in. Still, here we are. Unbelievable. Good grief. We did it, though. Oh, thank goodness for that. Press fire to skip the credits. We don't do that in this house. A lot of people put a lot of time and effort into making a video game. We are, we honour them. We honour them in this house. Ah, oh, that was Medal of Honor Allied Assault 2015. This game came out. No way. <clears throat> no, that's not that's not that's not correct. <clears throat> Maybe the remaster, not the remaster, but this version came out in 2015. I don't know. Anyway, what do we think of Medal of Honor Allied Assault? Went down okay. First person shooters are not my thing. And... That's why I played this one. Because it's one that I did at least know a little bit about. Ah, these guys are the ones responsible for those stupid sniper levels. Actually, I bet it was Adam Christ that did the sniper levels because he was the intern. They let him have they let him make one level and he filled it full of snipers. <laughs> um but yeah, it went we I'm glad we got there. It was uh, it was a struggle towards the end, but I I think Allied Assault is certainly one of the best Medal of Honor games, certainly one of the best ones that I've played. And also just a very good first-person shooter game. This is the... Hey, Jack Grillo, he was someone that we rescued. He's also got a name. He's He was an actual person. The lead sound designer. Who knew that we were rescuing the lead sound designer from the Germans in that first level? 100 bits from Jay. Well done. Thank you very much. Glad we got there. <laughs> But yeah, this is, uh, this is the War Chest version of Allied Assault, which means that there are two expansion packs as well. Which we will play uh, after this. on the uh, At some point next week, we'll move on to those. But now we've just got the credits to go. I've had a great time with Medal of Honor. It's been a good, fun game. It's not been the most popular thing to stream, but that's no, that's no problem. I've had fun, and that's what that's what it's certainly all about. Steve Grohl, no relation, although he does work for EA Public Relations. Bruce McMillan, obligatory thank you to a McMillan. Normally it's Ed, but on this occasion it'll be Bruce. Joel Nutson, that's an unfortunate surname. Ben Crick. And a, a Nutson and a Nudson. That's that's confusing. I mean, they've got the names Joel and Dave, so that's fine. But I feel like you'd have to call one of them Nuts and one of them Nuds. Oh, got like some smooth twenties jazz coming in now. I can just vibe out to this for the rest of the stream. <laughs> ah, the voice talent. 
Charles de Vries, Thomas Schumann, Steve Boulan, Mark Eckleberry, Eddie Frierson, Tommy Laney, Kai Wolf, George Salden, Elea Breitling, the only female in the game, I presume, Nick Meany, Tate Taylor, Nick Guest, Christian Malmin, Stephen J. Blum, Jürgen Paretsky, Charles Carlenberg, Dave Mallow, Cam Clark, Norbert Weisser, Roman Wyden, Tim Wells, Lloyd Scher, Morgan Shepard, William Bassett, Kurt Lowens, and Dale Dye. Not you, Dale. If you happen to be out there and your name is Dale. There was no intent behind that, that was just the man's name. Created in partnership with the Congressional Medal of Honor Society. Medic Consultant. Did there need to be one of those for this game? I mean, there were a few medics in there, but... Special thanks to all of these people. Max Spielberg. I don't know if they're a relation to Steven. Of the same name. Paul DeMeo. Cousin to Paul De Ketchup. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a bad joke, but... <laughs> it tickled me. <laughs> ah, Dale Dye. He was a captain. Probably still is. Created by Steven Spielberg. That is why the D-Day level feels so much like Saving Private Ryan. Because Steven Spielberg made this game. Special thanks to you for choosing to experience our game. We've hope had as much fun playing it as we've had making it. I did have fun. And a special thanks to you for watching me play it. I hope you had as much fun watching it as I did playing it. That was it. Medal of Honor, Allied Assault. This game is dedicated to all the men, women and their families that gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. You will always be remembered. True words. Very true words indeed. Poignant end. Fantastic. That's... That's that. Now... How does one go about playing the expansions? Just so I know for next time, because I don't actually know where... How to access that. There's no option on loading the game. Which, um... Is concerning. I don't know. I'll have to look into that. But that is going to do it for this evening. Because I am tired. And because it's pretty much 10 o'clock, which is stream cutoff point, And because we finished the game, there's no point carrying on. Um, tomorrow. No streams tomorrow because I have a meeting in the evening. And because I want a day off this week. So no streams tomorrow. I have absolutely nothing planned. I got my meeting in the evening and then I am doing nothing else. Go out for a walk, play some drums. That's about it, I reckon. Uh, we'll be back on Saturday night, 7pm GMT, where we will be diving back into, regrettably, Silver Chains. Yay! Everyone's excited for more horror. Except me. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to be playing some more Silver Chains. It's going to be fun. On the one hand, I can't wait. On the other hand, I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it. That's going to do it. Everybody, thank you so much for coming by, hanging out, chatting as always. For the follows, it's been a good day. We've got, we're getting ever closer. I need 11 more followers to hit the January goal of 150, which I think is definitely doable. Uh, the gifted sub as well, Jay. Thank you very much for that. Uh, 22 out of 25. We only need three more subs and then we unlock yet another emote. Which is going to be awesome. As soon as I get someone to design it for me. <laughs> um, that's awesome. It's been a great start to the year for Twitch. I'm having such a great time. But yes. I'll see you all next time 
for Silver Chains, Saturday, 7 o'clock. Good night, good day, good afternoon, evening, whatever it happens to be where you are. Oh, fifth! No! You're just too late! Oh. I just see you pop up. Came back too late. We're just calling it quits for the night. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Gosh darn it. But I, I, I can't even extend it even if I wanted to. We've literally finished the game. <laughs> so I can't drag it out anyway. Oh, so sorry. Oh, Nay's just dropping back in as well. What is... Why is everyone... Oh, look. Yes, we... Nay, we finished the game, so we are wrapping up for the evening. The stream was good, Fifth. The stream was good. We've been watching on mute while playing. Hope it all went well. It did go well. It did go well. Speak soon indeed. We'll be back on Saturday. Saturday evening, 7pm, for Silver Chains. Watch it if you want to see me jump out of my skin, because I'll be scared. <laughs> been getting cars inspected and the emission tested. Ugh. Good luck. I'm hoping for, hope for the best on that. Enjoy your evening. I shall very much. Enjoy the rest of your day, Fifth. And uh, maybe get the chance to speak to you tomorrow. Or if you're not doing anything on Saturday, feel free to drop by as well. Um, other than that, everybody, see you all soon. Take care. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, evening. Good night, goodbye, and all the rest of it. See ya! So because of how this game works, I can't actually tab out to stop the stream, which means that I've got to quit to stop the stream. <laughs>